Sammy, I know you knew Zach since he was a year old. Yep. Has he always been this extraordinary? He's always had so much energy and always positive energy. And then the only thing, like when cancer came into his life, all of his energies just actually were just more focused towards making a difference and being himself and living his life to the fullest because he knew he didn't have much time left. Amy, I know that, that when you all started dating, you knew that he had this terminal illness mm -hmm. and yet you still decided, I'm gonna be Zach's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how scary and hard that was to give your heart to someone who you knew wasn't gonna be around forever, or at least really for very long. Mm -hmm. We were friends for about a year, so before we started dating, so I knew what an amazing person was, and we just loved being around each other. And so when it blossomed into something more, it didn't really seem to matter that it would be shorter, because any time I got to spend with him was amazing, and we always found something fun to do or just be happy with each other. Meanwhile, Sammy, this story has had such an impact. I'm a mess, by the way. I don't know. It's just so moving. Can you believe the impact it's had all over the world? It's crazy, isn't it? I don't think he ever realized what an impact he would make. That was never, I mean, I don't think that was his idea of what his music would become, but I know he's so happy he did. This is part of a series on a website called Soul Pancake that was established by Rain Wilson of yes. The Office. And it really chronicles people in their final days and months. And, and I'm just wondering, Justin, for you, that must be so hard, that kind of work. I mean, is there a flip side to, to chronicling the end of life experience? The idea came from a quote in uh, the Baha'i writings. And the quote is, I've made death a messenger of joy for thee. Wherefore, why dost thou grieve? And I thought the world's so messed up that if we could maybe like flip the idea of what death is and try to make it joyful and have a show that's not like bringing people down but bringing people up in their last days, um, it could really maybe change the world. And Zach, was just ha Zach just happened to be a kid who wanted to change the world. So it was just like this perfect meeting of like, you know, the heavens saying, okay, now's the time. And he's doing it. What were your impressions of Zach and his family when you got to know them? I've never experienced love like that, demonstrated in the way that, that the Sobiak family and the friends had. I mean, this is a family and a kid that changed their entire community and is now, we're watching it change the world.